from Makassar, where I am about to escape the big city and go somewhere a bit more rural, thanks to this wee airplane right here. I have been spending most of my time recently in big cities, guys. It's going to be a breath of fresh air to go somewhere a bit quieter, a bit more rural. And the place I'm going to in this aircraft is Tana Toraja, the land of the Toraja people. Yes, thank you. So, this place, Tanataraja, it used to only be accessible by road. A nine hour bus ride, or car if you've got one. But uh, now they have this airplane service because about three years ago they built an, air an airport there. And uh, three times a week you can fly there. So that's what I'm doing, guys. It's like a 35 minute flight rather than a nine hour bus ride. Sounds good to me. The man's in 10F. It's a window seat. It should be a window seat. Oh. Yeah, that is me. It's the window seat. And hopefully, I don't have a neighbor. Then it's a bit small. Like, that's how much headroom you've got. So, if you were like a, an NBA player or something, a really tall person, it might be uncomfortable. But um, there's 80 seats on this aircraft, approximately, and only 24 passengers. I counted them when we were on the bus here. So, hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't have a neighbor, guys. Okay, so we're about to take off guys and as you can see this aircraft is less than half full. Everybody pretty much uh, getting their own seat with no neighbour. Which is nice, makes the flight a lot more comfortable, especially in a kind of cramped aircraft like this. You kind of want to have your legs, your mosquito bitten legs. Spread out like this, don't you? And as you can see guys, we're underneath the wings. So normally when I get the middle seat on an aircraft, the view is kind of blocked by the wing. If you ever get like the emergency roll kind of area on the plane, you don't get a great view. So the wing's in the way, but here, we're underneath it. Kind of cool. guys that was a very enjoyable flight you got a nice view pretty much all the way all the 35 40 minutes you're only above the clouds for maybe 10 minutes and the rest of the time you're looking down at this beautiful green landscape fantastic okay arrivals So here in Tana Taraja, I'm going to be staying with a local Taraja family in their homestay. There's not much options as far as hotels go in this area of Sulawesi. So homestays are the way to go. Now, I had researched that there would be a bus picking up from here and going to Rantipau, where my homestay is. It's about 45 minutes drive from here, guys. So I had researched that there's some local Damri bus in fact, the reason I knew about that was reading the Google reviews about this airport. People had taken photos of the bus and details about how it always is scheduled for when the flights arrive. I mean, there's only three flights landing and going every week, so the bus is supposed to um, be timed to that. But that information was like eight or nine months old and the owner assures me there's no bus. So I wanted to take the bus because it's cheap and it's fun. But the owner assured me there's no bus and uh, yeah, her friend's picking me up for the cost of 250,000. A little bit on the steep side compared to what I've been paying uh, for the same kind of distance in Jakarta and Surabaya and Makassar and such like. I don't know if that's kind of the going rate here, if private transfers are a bit more expensive here. Uh, obviously you can't just use Grab or anything here. I can't imagine Grab app is working for, uh, for rides here. But uh, yeah, somebody's picking me up and I'm waiting to pick up my bag. I think they've unloaded them off the plane. And this plane has gone back to Makassar. So people are boarding this. It comes here and you can see there people are boarding. 
on the way to Makassar. Nice. Ah, here we go. It was the third one out. The third one out, your man's doing good today. Okay, let's see if we can find our driver. Driver name is Achang. I don't know if that's a woman's name or a man's name. We will see. Probably one of these fellows. We're standing inside. Hi. Check your luggage. You want to check my luggage? Yes. Yeah. What, what do you want to check? Uh, you want, boarding, boarding, boarding pass. Boarding. Uh, boarding pass. Oh, you make sure yes. I got the right one. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank no problem. You. Okay. Yeah. I think they're just making sure that I, I didn't just grab somebody else's suitcase. Yeah, Hello. still Philip, that's me. You, Mr. Achang? Yes. Okay, oh. pleased to meet you. Okay, good. Nice Mr. to meet you too. Hi. Okay. You also have guests trip. coming? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, we are still waiting. Ah, okay. My suitcase right. came first. I got lucky today. Okay. Yeah, it was like the third one out. Okay. Mr. Achang. Kamu Orang Toraja? Yes. Orang Toraja, good. Okay, he's a Toraja man. <laughs> Everyone in Toraja, Tana Toraja, are Toraja people. Yeah, I wonder that if everybody that lives in this area of the country are the local mm. tribe. We've got a big, uh, a big vehicle just for your man right here. Do you know one? Uh, only one, only me. Oh. Yeah, only one. Traveling mm. alone. Freedom. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it friendly style and sit in the front of the block. Sit down the front. Okay, friendly style. Friendly style. Oh, you have the GoPro. GoPro <laughs> logo, that's what I'm filming with right now. GoPro. <laughs> okay. And yeah, I don't see any bus here, so I guess private transfer is the only really way to, to go. We're going to Rantipal, right? Yes. Rura Raya. Yeah, that's the name of the homestay. Rura Raya. So about 45 minutes driving, right? About 45 minutes. Uh, Depends how fast you drive. Uh, <laughs> to yeah, how far to run to Pau? Uh, driving. One hour. One hour? Ah, okay. Yeah, it's a long way. I like this, the road's so quiet. Yeah. No, no traffic, no traffic in <laughs> Tanataraja, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Of course, I'm going to get a motorcycle, motorbike. Motorbike, yeah. Yeah, I will be driving. You think it's a good idea? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. It'll be so nice to drive on these quiet roads. Selamat siang. Siang? What, yeah. time, what time is it? No, Paggy. <laughs> 11.44. Yes, to siang. You do siang? Yeah. After, after what time? After 10? After yeah. 11? Oh. Ah, okay. Wait, so, Paggy to 7. So Paggy is... To 7, eh? 7? Yeah. Ah, okay. 7 o'clock, yeah. Selamat pagi. Selamat pagi, ah. Yeah. And siang, what time? Uh, yeah, to 10. Oh, after Siang. 10? Yeah. After 10 is Siang. Yeah. I didn't know that. I always thought Selamat Siang was afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was like same like afternoon. We say after 12 o'clock, good afternoon. You say Siang after 10 o'clock. And Paggy, good morning. Yeah. 7 till 10. Okay, it's confusing. Yeah. The tongue, welcome. Dakota Macaulay. So, are we now in Rantipau? Yes. This is Rantipau. Okay. So, we're very close to the homestay. Indonesian flag style, red and white. 
everyone doing this painting red and white, red and white. Um, Meraputi, 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 yeah. yeah. This is Ruraraya? Yeah. Okay. Good. It's a big, big place. Hello. Hello. Salamat Siang. Salamat Siang. Okay, I said it correctly this time. Siang, Siang. <laughs> Siang, okay. So this is the homestay here. This for you. I see you next time, okay? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Achang. Hello, hello. Oh, hello. hello. Hi, I'm Dale. Oh, I come to nice stay to with you. you. Oh, yes, yeah, Slamat Siang. Slamat Siang. Yes. Slamat Datang. Datang, okay, welcome. Yeah. Okay, welcome, thank you. Yes. Oh, it's a very nice area. Thank you. It's Ranti Pau. So this is the map of Toraja? Yes. Yes, and we are in Rantipal. No, yes. No, this is all Toraja here. Yeah, but this is Toraja Utara, right? Uh, yes, Toraja here. Toraja Utara. Yes. Yeah. And this uh, Tana Toraja. Yes. Makali is the so, capital. So Toraja. So it's two different, re two regencies. Yes. Tana Toraja and Toraja yes. Utara. Yes. North. Utara is north. So we are in the north. And we are about, about here, right? About here, I think. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm staying in this building? Uh, yes. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. I'm just looking at the map. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. It's a I big area. Drink, yeah? Oh, welcome What's drink. Oh, okay. Show good. your room first. Okay. Oh, okay. We'll do the room tour. Okay. Yes. We're going to see the room. So I'm in this main building for this. Ah. This is your family place, yes? Yes, yes. How many people in your family? Oh, nice, they've got a good desk. Sister. Four brothers and sisters? Uh, yes. Oh, for you? No, 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 with me. With you? I'm second. Oh, you're the second one, ah, okay. And mother and father, or the... Uh, my father passed pass away. Oh, your father, pa sorry. Yes, your pa uh, downstairs, this is my brother. Oh, your brother? Ah, brother. okay, so the, the, the brothers and sisters are running this homestay? Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah, That's good. It's real? No. Yeah, real. It's real? Really? Yeah, real. I thought it was plastic. It's real? Yes. Really? <laughs> what is it? Normally with the... I don't know what uh, it is. It just felt like plastic. No, no. Hmm. What is the name for this? Boa. Marquisa. Marquisa? Yes, hmm. but little big, yeah? Yeah, I don't know. Huh? Strange. No. Oh, it's like a passion fruit. Yeah, passion fruit, yeah, but like different passion. style. Okay, I will, I will try this. Uh, yeah, you need a small yeah, spoon? Yeah, I'll try this later. later yes, yeah. small spoon okay. will be good. I will try it later. Okay, so this is nice. Check this out. I got a balcony. Yes. Yeah, right here. Oh, nice. Rura Raya homestay. This is room, yeah, bathroom. Yeah. Oh, this is the bathroom here? Yes. Okay. How do I get into it? From outside or from inside? Like In fact, I should take my... Yeah, it's good. Like that. <laughs> I should... Every time I do a room tour, I forget to take yes. my bag off. This is oh, this is the bathroom? Yeah, bathroom. Ah, okay. Yeah. With Good. a hot shower. So, we've got toilet, sink yeah. and shower area here? Shower, yes. Ah, yes. okay. That's good. And it's hot water, you said? Uh, hot water, yes. Ah, okay. Good. Yes. Do I need to um, do anything for hot water or it comes all the time? Uh, all the time. All the time. Yes. Oh, good. Ah, nice. So, we've got this for mosquito. Net. Net. And we have also um, Wi Fi here. Oh, good. Yes. Yeah, it's and good. Then I can put, put my laptop yes. here and work. Good. Uh, including breakfast and dinner, and also afternoon tea and coffee. Oh, really? Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. That's good. Yes. yes. Oh, I, I still need to pay you, right? I, I need to. Oh, yeah. I'll fight my Maybe. money. And I saw you uh, breakfast and dinner here, yeah? Okay. Breakfast and dinner here. But now I have a, ah. a guest, so must be in room, but put here. Ah, okay, so. Yeah, single room. Ah. Uh, so, so oh, someone is staying in that yeah, room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, from okay. From Germany. From Germany, ah, yes. okay. Oh, well, this is the area for breakfast. Breakfast and dinner. And dinner, okay, yeah. but you only have one table. Uh, because only you. Only me? Yeah. What about the Germans? Because, uh, oh, they will eat in the room? Yeah, living, living. 
leaving at uh, 6 30. So maybe. Oh, today? Yeah, today. Ah, Dinner, okay. What time? Uh, what time is good? <laughs> Depend on you. But Depend I on think, me. Ah. But I think uh, seven, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, seven is yeah. like seven is good. Ah, yeah, okay, so good. You already leave, yes? Yeah? So you use yeah. this. You have a you lot of these fruits. These? Are, are these growing here or something? On the trees? Yes. Ah. You see? But I not pick up from there. Ah, I is your the market. Oh, you get from the market? <laughs> ah, banana. okay. But there are, oh, yeah, there are some, I see. Yeah, banana, there, yeah. There are some in your garden, but you get from the market. Yeah. yeah. And okay. this is Tongkonan House, traditional. Yeah. Banana, yeah. So it's very similar to Batak house, ah, right? A little bit. A little bit similar. Uh, yes. Because yeah. <laughs> I went to Dan Toba. And oh, yeah, I seen, already? yeah, I seen this type of style, but it's a different style for Toraja. Yeah. Oh yeah, different. You have their own style. Ah, okay. And Toraja little high house. Yeah. And Batak little more. Oh, it's so a bit, a bit yeah. lower down. Ah. Yes, yeah, more so, lower down. And the small houses. This is for rice barn. Ah. So, you are. You're living in those, or you're living no, in this main building? No, living this. You're living in this one? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. No, I this mean, is the... It means uh, this is people living there. Oh, people are uh, living yeah. there. And over there, yeah. this is empty now, uh, over there just for ice. For ice? Rice. Rice? Oh, yeah. you just keep the rice in the yes, home? Yes, take out and ah. then in the rice field, dry and then put there. Yeah. Keep it. And you say, no, this one is empty? No, yeah, empty. Nobody ah, there. Okay. Long time ago, before I have this house, I stay there ah. with family. Ah, okay. So you were staying in this one. You moved to this this one here? Yes. yes. Ah, okay. Ah, so there's no fridge in the room, guys. But they have their own mini bar kind of outside the room here in the hallway. See this? They've got a price list there. Cola, 10,000, which... Is it too much more than the shops? I think it's like six or seven or eight thousand usually in Indomaret. I have, in fact, brought my own Coke Zero, which they don't have. I wonder if they're going to allow me to keep my own drinks in there. I will ask them if that's acceptable. <laughs> Basically, I... Oh, watermelon, right? Oh, no! This is papaya. No, this... tamarilla. I saw your fruit. Yeah? I don't know. Uh. Mm. This fridge here for drinks. Yeah. Can I put can, can I put my own drinks oh, in yes, there? Yes, yes. Because I brought some drinks. Yes, yes, no problem. I can keep in there, yes? Okay, good. Welcome okay, so you. this this one? Yes. Huh. Another one I don't know. I pick up knife uh -huh. and small spoon, yeah? Oh okay, so we'll try oh, okay. <laughs> oh, we will try both these fruits. That I have no idea. This is when you go to some really remote place you find fruits and stuff that you didn't know existed. Probably, you know, these aren't mass farmed and exported and stuff like that. It's just people in the local area pick them from the trees in their gardens, maybe a little bit of buying, selling in the market. Let's taste this. Oh, oh, strange. I don't know how to describe that, guys. Very sweet. I would say this one kind of a bit of a passiony fruit flavour to it as well. Mmm. That's right, when I was in Lake Toba, there was another passion fruit type of fruit like that that fell off a tree while I was riding my bike and I picked it up and had an eat of it and said it was like a very sweet passion fruit. So, yeah, maybe it's more like that. This also tastes like passion fruit. <laughs> yeah, this one, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You use with the... Okay, I'll take a spoonful. Oh, so this take with spoon. Ah, strange. Let me Same try tomato, this one. Yeah. It's like tomato. Tomato. And that's what this is. Yes! Mm, it tastes like passion fruit. No! Yeah, to me it tastes like passion fruit. Uh, put to uh, lemon juice also. Oh, le oh, you put lemon juice in yes. it? Ah, okay. That's been for What is this one called? Uh, tamarilla. Tamarilla. Okay, tamarilla. Toraja say, Toraja uh, call, um, tell, uh, apa? No. Terong Belanda. It tastes like a sweet tomato. 
Oh yeah, it's yeah. almost the same It's thing. like a sweet tomato. So the difference is with the drink, she said she put lemon, lemon inside. So that's the difference there. Yes, lemon. Put lemon, so mm. this is make more fresh. Yeah, it's good with lemon. It's perfect, yeah, delicious. Thank you. Okay. Okay, make picture of it. Okay. Yeah, and anyone staying in here? No, no. Ah, okay. You? So I have privacy. Yes, yeah, privacy. I can <laughs> have privacy. I can come out here. After okay, after no. I, after I take a shower, I can stand. No problem. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, let's have a look around here. So this is another room that we share the balcony with, but nobody inside. So that's good. Hmm. Yeah. Check it out, guys. This garden area. So she says they're just keeping rice in these ones here. And this one's empty. This is more of a regular type of building. But uh, very beautiful, aren't they? These types of traditional Taraja homes. And this one, I didn't try it yet. With a yellow passion fruit. Yeah. Oh, quite bitter. It's like a bitter passion fruit, that. Oh, that bitterness there. But this, I really like. This one, the sweet tomato with the lemon juice. Lovely. Hello, can I pay you, can I pay you for the room now? Money? Okay, yeah. yeah, then I don't have to keep all the money oh, in my pocket. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. It's like uh, weighing me down. I have this <laughs> big wad of cash. I wanna, How much? Uh, I, I, I think one night was 855. Oh. Yeah, eight five five times five. Oh yeah, one night, yeah. Yeah, five nights. Oh, five nights, yeah. Yeah. Four million two hundred and seventy-five thousand. Seven yeah, okay. Yes. The ATM machine only yes. giving me fifties, so I, I have too know. too much. Okay. Oh yeah, too much. Too much. Yeah, because yeah. only fifties, not one hundreds. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yes. okay, like so. Okay, one hundred, two. And what about the motorbike? Oh, motorbike already. You have yeah. already. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, motorbike. Money. Yes. I give money to you for the motorbike. Uh, uh, oh yes. To you, yes. Uh, yes. Quick uh, one. Oh yeah, yeah, no problem. I pay them for me and I. Pay oh, I pay for you. You give to the owner. Yes. Ah, okay, so it was. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred thousand per day, yeah. right? Okay, so this uh, five hundred thousand for, for the motorbike. Yes. Okay. Uh, you see? I can choose a helmet. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, Which yes. one do you think is best? This one or this one? <laughs> what do you think? Okay. You gotta choose. I don't know. I like this one, I think. I oh, but the, yeah. yeah, you, you don't have one with visor? No, no visor. Visor? No, uh, glass. No yeah. glass. No, in the glass. <laughs> no glass, oh, okay. It's okay, I will use um, my shade. Oh, okay, it's my change. Yes. Okay, change. I look like I'm ready to go. I'm not going anywhere, I'm just testing. <laughs> <laughs> Just the best thing. I had yeah. dinner today, uh, tonight, uh, chicken with soya. soya chicken, sauce. chicken with soy sauce. Yes. Soy sauce chicken. Yes. Sounds good to me. Yes. And chicken, yes. chicken from your garden or from no, market? From market. Oh, it's from the market. <laughs> ah, okay. From garden, you know, from garden, mm. very hard. Oh, this village chicken is hard. Yeah. Ah, so you get the one from the market. Yeah. Ah, okay. So the village chicken you, eating, yeah? your uh, garden chicken you just use for eggs, tellur. Oh, the Lord, uh, sometimes. And sometimes from the market. Okay, okay, always from the market. Yeah. Okay, okay, so I, I think I'm going to take this white helmet. I think so it's So do you like uh, rice or potato with the... Uh, rice is good. Rice, yeah. yeah. Rice. If I'm in my country, I will eat with potatoes. But oh, in, yes. In your country, I will eat with rice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I'll try the black one anyway. Let's see. The black one looks bigger. That's what she said. Oh yeah, the black one's too big. That's what she said. Oh hello. Hi. Samad Siang, Samad Siang. Your mother. Ah, pleased to meet you. You're also living living here. Yeah. Your son and daughter. Yeah, I'm Okay. Maybe you want to see motor. Oh okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna see the motorbike. Okay, that I have. Okay. Uh, nice to see you. Sampai jumpa lagi. Okay. So that is my receipt for five nights, four, two, seven, five. So this, my motorbike here. Yeah. Ah, okay. So this is mine. It's a Honda. 
Oh, it's a Yamaha. Okay. First time riding a Yamaha. You know how many cc? Uh, uh, the power. The power. I think maybe Yamaha. like 150 yeah. or something. Oh, 125. Okay, perfect for me. Yeah. That's perfect for me. Yes. Okay, good. And has fuel already or I need to... A little bit of fuel. Okay, I need yes. to... There's... A... Where do I find gas? Petrol. Oh, petrol. Yeah, uh, where on, do I on find? On the way. On the way? Yes. Easy to find? Way, uh, yes. People... Uh, buy... Oh, a bottle, bottle. Yes, ah, bottle, okay, bottle. bottle. Yeah, okay, <laughs> bottle, yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, yeah. that's good. Okay, it's my transport for yes. this week. I am now nice and settled in to my new home, guys. I have had to do a little bit of furniture rearranging, though, as I will show you. Right here is the desk, which used to be right there. I've moved it. Can you guess why I've moved it, guys? Can you guess? Can you possibly guess why I've moved it? You're probably thinking, it's for the beautiful view. Look, you're sitting at your laptop, and this is what you're looking out onto. Fantastic. And it is fantastic, guys, it is fantastic, but that's not the reason that I moved the desk. This is the reason. The power socket is there, and that's the only power socket. So it's actually at the opposite end of the room from the desk, and as you can see, the lead for my laptop to this extension thing that I take with me doesn't quite reach the other end of the room. I actually could have achieved this with the help of the Homestay's own extension cord right there. They've got like this, just the two prong one. The one that I've got, the one that I use is like the multi adapter. You can plug anything in there, the British one, the American, USB, all of it. But uh, yeah, I think I potentially could have achieved this by plugging that into the wall and then this adapter into that so it'd have two extension leads and then the laptop cable and I would actually make it but now that I've done this and I'm sitting there and looking out at the nice view I think I'm just going to keep it like this it does make the room look a bit, I don't know it's just strange, you wouldn't normally put a table in that position you'd put a table up against the wall or something wouldn't you or up against where you'd have a window, but it's all good. I'm, I'm happy like this, I'm happy, I'm comfortable. Well, as comfortable as you can be on a, a wooden chair, but it's all good. I wasn't expecting much frills here um, in this kind of rural area. It's all homestays and stuff up here if you want to stay here. There are some hotels, but even the hotels are very, very basic, you know? Um, yeah, like no AC and stuff. Like here, there's no AC, it's just, you're getting the breeze coming through these panels. They're kind of like a mesh. So the breeze comes through from there. Obviously, they have this open during the day. Have it closed at night so that we don't get the mosquitoes. I'm already bitten to bits by mosquitoes. Like, check me out, check my legs. I'm just covered, covered in uh, mosquito bites. So, that's from Makassar. I had the balcony room in Makassar. If you've seen that video, I had the balcony room and I was chilling out on the balcony without any DEET on. This is what I normally use, 100% DEET. Well, it's actually 98.11, 98.11% DEET. The only thing that stops mosquitoes from biting me, that citronella and all that herbal crap, is useless. Um, anyway, I didn't have it on because it stinks. It smells disgusting. And um, yeah, for some reason, I didn't even think there was many mosquitoes in Makassar. But uh, I found out the hard way. There's plenty of mosquitoes in Makassar and there's probably a bunch up here. So they actually provide this, the mosquito killer thing. And I brought two of my own. Last night before I came here, I went to the supermarket in Makassar and got um, this zapper vape thing and this, two different brands. So now I have three, I have three ways to kill mosquitoes. Um, yeah, I guess I'll plug that extension into there and plug all three of them in and surely that'll kill them all. Guys, uh, I do have the mosquito net while I'm sleeping as well. But like I say, I'm already bitten to bits anyway. I'm already sore and swollen. So uh, yeah, this is where I'm chilling. Got the wee snack drawer here for your man's... Well, it's not really a mini bar, is it? It's not a mini bar unless it's keeping it cold and talking about keeping it cold. I've loaded their fridge with oh, 
your man's own stash. Your man's own stash of, oops, your man's own stash of Coke Zero. She did say it was okay. I thought there was no chance I was going to get Coke Zero up here. I don't, we have passed in the car coming up here, we have passed some um, Indomaret or Alpha Mart or something like that. Uh, but there's no guarantee that you're going to get sugar free drinks. Normally, only places with foreigners and tourists have the sugar free drinks. I found that in Nepal and India, other places, you struggle to find the sugar free There's not, There's just not any demand from it for it from the locals. So um, yeah, I brought my own like 14 cans. Lovely, that's what you want. Now, what I want to do is get out there and have a wee explore. Just for an hour or two, I might take the bike out somewhere, maybe take it into the town, into the Ranty Pau, have a wee bit of explore, a wee bit of something to eat. Let's do it guys. Okay guys, let's get on to... Oh, I almost slipped right away. I almost slipped right away. Let's get on to a decent road, that's what I was about to say. Right down here. Hello. Hi brother, how are you? Okay. Here we go, okay. As long as the roads are concrete, I should be fine. They are a bit steep around here. The roads all seem to be a bit steep. Okay, I should have done this before I left. Adjust the mirrors. Okay guys, so the place I want to go to is some kind of cultural village for the Taraja people. It's about 15 minutes up this way and over the bridge. Fuel gauge is empty. I'm gonna to have to get some fuel into this thing first. Huh. Okay, I just Google translated what is the word for petrol in Bahasa Indonesia and it is petrol, so this should be easy. Just ask people. Ah, uh, siang, siang. Menchari petrol. Saya menchari petrol. Gas. Petrol, petrol, no? Benkel. Petrol. Benkel. Gas, gas. Up here? Oh, okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, for the, for the bike. They don't understand petrol, I don't know. So up here, I think they're speaking Toraja language. Uh, and then maybe, maybe Bahasa Indonesia second. So maybe there's another word for petrol. Here they have or no? Oh, no, this is somebody's garden, it looks like. Pencil. Oh, Disana. Oh, okay. So he's telling me to go somewhere else. Disana. Pencil. Okay, I will try. I think he called it pencil. <laughs> Disana, Disana. Oh, okay. Then go up there. That was just somebody's garden. That wasn't a petrol station. I think there isn't really any big petrol stations around. I think it is just like the side of the road. Someday I'll have them in bottles. I think right here. This. Yeah, they've got... Hi, brother. I need gas. Petrol. Say again? Yeah. Uh, petrol. What do you need? Uh-huh. Top. Fill, fill, fill. Uh, maximum, maximum. Oh, it's blue. Full, full, maximum, full. yeah. Full. This, uh, Bahasa Indonesia. This is Bahasa Indonesia. Yeah, uh, Beshin, full. Beshin? Beshin. Beshin? Yeah. Okay, Beshin, okay. Beshin, Beshin, okay. Satu bottle, dua belas. Yeah. Dua belas ribu. Yeah. Okay. Berapa bottles? Uh, I don't know. I I need 
Is hij pennu? Vol, vol. Ja. Okay, bigger. Okay, okay. okay. thirty-six. Machine. Yeah, machine. machine. Okay, three okay. Makassi, brother. Okay, Makassi. Okay, that wasn't too hard. Now we know the word, it'll be easier in future. Machine, machine, machine. Washing his buffalo. Now, something that I've noticed, guys, is that this mileometer right here, it's not going up, it's not increasing as I drive, which is unfortunate because I tend to use this to help me when. I know that my destination is like five kilometers away or something. I will keep checking in on that. Am I nearly at five kilometers? Then I don't have to, you know, like stop and check my phone to see if I went past where I'm trying to go, that kind of thing. But as you can see, guys, as you can see, it's not going up. to Keti Kesu tourist attraction. Ah, <coughs> uh, one person? Yeah. Okay, I got my ticket, 30,000 rupees. There was two prices, 15,000 and 30,000. I'm not sure if that was child and adult or local and foreigner, but nevertheless, your man paid the higher price of 30K. Now let's have a wee look around this traditional Torajan village. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, Dari Mana. Dari. From Rantipao. Oh, Rantipao. Oh, okay. Local girls. Okay. Okay. So these are the traditional homes that the Tarajans would live in. Nowadays, I guess most people are living in kind of Western style homes. I'll try not. To. Okay. I won't mess up your shot. You can take. You can take. Yeah. I think these days most people are living and kind of western still homes, but there's still loads of these. I've, I've drove from a homestay about 15 minutes. I've seen loads of these styles of homes. I think it's called Tonggonen, Tonggonen, or something like that. They're very reminiscent of the buildings that the Batak people were living in. And I want to get inside one of them. I've not been in, I've not been in one yet. Even though they exist in my homestay, they exist here. Does anybody actually come in and out of these things? I don't see any way in. Like, that looks like a door there, but are you supposed to just pull yourself up or what? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Surely one of these you can get inside. Surely one. This one has ladders. Hmm. Can go? In Bisa? Bisa, mate. Ah, okay, can. So this one has ladders right here. Let's have a wee explore. Ah, there's a locked door. Oh no, it opens. Oh, yeah, it's empty. Oh, guys, it feels really, uh, it feels like a tree house. It feels, it's like a tree house. It's that kind of, you know, wooden planks that feel like not 100% secure. Okay, very nice. Yeah, so I guess that's why at the homestay, they have these types of homes, but the family live in the actual legit western looking building. Probably because it's more comfortable. I just got a cobweb. Oh, so, oh my god. Hopefully there's no spider on me. The uh, Yeah, this is very no frills. It's just like a tree house basically. So yeah, I guess that's why they live in the, you know, the Western style place. <clears throat> oh, 
Oke. Okay. <laughs> this one here has a buffalo, buffalo head on the front. Don't know if that's it says museum there, but it also looks like it's closed. Let's see. Yeah, it's locked. So, yeah, maybe the museum's only open at certain times. There doesn't seem much to see here, unless, I don't know, you can go in and out of some of these. Let's have a look. Another buffalo one. Yeah, more of the same. This one looks like maybe somebody's been sleeping in. They've put a blanket down there. But otherwise, it's empty. It's empty, guys. What is up here? Yes. Good? Good. Oh, okay. Let's see what is up here. Guys, I think it might be the graves. They're very famous, the Taraja people, for their funeral rituals and their burial rituals. They bury people in rocks, hanging on trees and such like. Hopefully I'm going to find out more about that soon. I'm going to try and actually go to a burial ceremony while I'm here. But uh, I'm assuming, oh there we go, right there, look at that guys. Coffins that have been buried above the ground, they just hang them on the rock here, check it out they put in like three pieces of wood into the rock and then the wooden coffin is just placed there and there's a few skulls there those will be human skulls guys and I don't know what happens, surely the wood over time it kind of breaks down and stuff I don't know you can see there look that looks like it's you know it's all uh, eroded and everything hi there's a ton of them so these would be the people oh I didn't even notice that there's a a ton of skills right there hello how are you hello ah Orang Taraja yeah ah, okay good these are Taraja boys oh, yeah. yes Barcelona Okay, doesn't matter where you go in the world, you will always find a Barcelona fan or Real Madrid. Right, so very interesting. First time in my life I've ever seen anything like that. Another row of skulls there. I wonder where the skulls come from. I understand that they put the coffins there, but then where do the skulls come from? Hmm. I will surely be learning more about this culture while I'm here just scratching the surface right now guys okay see if there's anything else up here ah what is this Apa. cave cave yes ah okay cave. cave can go inside or no huh? uh saya no, 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 saya no, no, jalan no. tidak jalan Tidak masuk, tidak masuk. Oh, Ma no masuk. Masuk, bisa masuk. Bisa. Bisa. Lamp. Lamp. Oh, lamp. lamp. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Take this. Thirty, thirty, thirty. Ah? Thirty, lamp. Take thirty. three. Thirty. Ah, thirty. Yes. I don't understand. Uh, ten, ten. Ten. Oh, money. Yes, many, many in ten, ten. Ah, money. Ten. Yes. Ten thousand. Yes. I give money donation. Ah, okay. I give a donation and then I can take a torch and go, can go in here? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Good. Why are you smoking? Uh, yes. In, Very in bad. Smoking. Oh, no good. You smoking? No. Oh. Tee tak baik. A baik kalau smoking. <laughs> Tee tak baik. <laughs> Tee tak baik. Mas. Okay. 10,000. Okay, I give donation. Okay, then can go. Okay. Mister. What? Uh, lap. 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 Okay. Lamp, uh, <laughs> I'll take the lamp. Ten ten. What do you mean ten ten? Yes, Mister. Thirty. Yes, thirty. Why? You uh, said ten. Uh, thirty. <laughs> ten ten ten. Oh. Lap lap lap. 
slap ten ten eh tiga puluh ribu tiga puluh ribu eh memang tu saya kelasnya you speaking Indonesia no a little bit I know the numbers tiga puluh ribu okay it was it was thirty thousand for this what memang tu saya kelasnya apa I don't understand I don't understand memang tu memang tu saya kelasnya eh tour guide tour guide yes eh you don't speak English. How can you be my tour guide? Eh, not speaking English. Say, uh, say I'm our tour guide uh, Bahasa English. English. Where come from? That is Scotlandia. Oh, yes. Ah, Scotlandia, huh? Andy Robertson. Oh, yeah. Yes, okay. Okay. So, uh, you want 30? 10, 10. 10, 10. What? Is this even switch one? It looks like you've ripped out of the ceiling or something. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna electrocute yourself. Tirata was English, not speaking English. Gag visa, bass English. Okay. Okay, here. That's 30, okay. Okay, Suda, Suda. Okay. 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 It seems really weak, this uh, torch. This on? Oh. It seems really weak. Okay, uh, what am I doing? Yeah, let's go using the This on? Maximum, maximum. This maximum. No, This no good. No, no, no. No good, no good. No. Yeah, it's no good, it's too weak. Ah, tak ada putih. Kulah orangnya. Robert, mungkin tak lima. No handphone. Ah? Handphone. Handphone. Ah, okay. Okay, let's go, Mister. Okay, I will use my handphone. I got my phone. Nice to meet you. Flashlights. Nice to meet you too, bro. Teraja, bro. Okay. Nice to meet you. I can't see anything. Mister. Yes. Eh, pemandu sih kelasnya. Transfer dollar ini tidak boleh sama ni. Don't understand. Eh, nanti nanti nanti. Hati hati. Hati. Yeah, slippy. Yes, happy. How you say happy happy? Yes. Okay, it is slippy. It's really really slippy. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, it's all wet. Hati hati. Oh. Isuan patane. Okay. Eh. Yes. Hati hati. Hati hati. Yes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. What uh, is here? This one patane. Oh, great. This one patane, yes. There's someone hey, important, bo boss. Uh, huh? Boss. Yes. Oh, this is big boss grave and the uh, only one. Yeah. Satu, satu. Yeah, one uh, this one patane. Ah. Yeah, satu patane. Uh He's like a king. Huh? King. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. You're like king for village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. I think this is like the main man. Uh, gets buried in the cave, and then outside is everyone else. They're like hanging on to the the cave from the outside. Very interesting. Yeah. Anything else? Mister. Yes. Oh yeah. Duck down. This crocodile. Uh, um, uh, uh, dog, dog. This talactive talactic dog, 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 dog. Yes, Mister. Mister. Yeah. Mm. Dog. Yes. Hmm. Mister. Yeah. Hmm. Mister. Yes. Hmm. I don't understand. That's an actual dog. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Oh yeah, it looks it looks like a dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks like a dog. It's yes, not yes, an actual yes, dog. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. I'm not speaking English. Yeah, I know. Yes, yes. Me. Hey, finish. 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 Yes. Um, um. Here what? Yeah. Only boy can go. Big man cannot go. Yeah. Too, yeah. too small. Uh, finish, finish, finish. Finish. Yes. Ah, okay. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you too, bro. Thank you very much. Okay, thank for you very me. much. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Yes, thank you. See you next time. Yeah, see you next time. Sampai jumpa lagi. Yeah. Transmart. Um, nanti mister. Google. 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 Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, pemandu seikhlasnya. I don't understand. 
Let's get out and we can do a Google Translate. Yes. Yeah. Okay, hati hati. Hati hati, yeah. Yes. Slippy slippy. Ooh. Yeah, hope. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh. Very good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, guys. Yeah. Barcelona thank fan. You. Barcelona. Beautiful. Okay, so that's cool. The little kids of the village have got their own little business set up there where they give a guide to tourists off the cave for 30,000 rupees. Despite not being able to speak English, maybe though, if a lot of uh, Westerners keep coming here, that'll encourage the kids to learn English. Uh, it'll be like a motivation for them because then they can, you know, make more money from giving guide services to bullies that visit this place. But, uh, whew, that was certainly interesting, wasn't it guys? Have you ever seen anything like that before? In your life. I think somebody else is buried in there. That's an actual like tomb that this lady, let's have a look, that this lady has got and there's all these drinks. It kind of looks like litter but I think this is like offerings. They all seem to be, see that's a water bottle but it actually looks like, I don't know, Ribena or something like that, something dark. Maybe it's some kind of offering. But, um, yeah, these people who get buried like that, I don't know what religion they are, but I think they might be Christian because most Tarajan people are Christians or Muslims. So I think these are actually Christians, guys. Wow, look, okay, there's more up there. How did they even get up there? How did they even get up there to put the coffin? And this one here is shaped like a buffalo. It's got like a buffalo's head there. Maybe that was somebody who loved buffaloes or owned a lot of buffaloes. Really cool. Really, really cool. Oh wow, I passed all these on the way up and didn't even realise. It was only when I got to that point there that I realised that those were coffins. Huh. It looks like some holes have been created by humans there in the cave, probably for them to slide in some more coffins at a later date. Very interesting. And down at the bottom, I thought these were wee houses. These are actually tombs as well. Look, that's a couple there. And they've kind of recreated them as statues next to this tomb. And yeah, there's like four or five or six. I think there's more behind them as well. Yeah, there's other tombs behind there. So yeah, some people get buried in these tombs. That's like a whole house, basically. That one there. It's like a whole house, a whole Tarajan house for the guy's tomb. So I guess it must be how much money you've got. Maybe the poorest people get buried just in the wooden casket there attached to the side of the cave. And the ones with money, they get this kind of lavish, lavish thing, even a statue of themselves. Let's have a look over here. It looks like this one, a wee old lady there. And here, it looks like a couple. Yeah, I think that guy was in the police. He's got a uniform on, police or army. Yeah, huh. very interesting, very, very interesting, guys. Yeah, you can check it out for souvenirs. They have wooden Taraja homes. That would certainly be a cool souvenir. Ah, oh, thank you. But, oh, nearly slept. I somehow survived that cave and not slept, and I almost slept at a souvenir shop. But, uh, yeah, those things are pretty cool. It'd be a cool little ornament for your home. Your man doesn't have any space in his luggage for things like that, though. Well, that's about all there is to see here, guys. Just those homes and the hanging graves, which are very interesting. It's definitely worth coming here just to check those out. 
There's some more on the map, not too far away from here. Look at that. In the distance, that mountain right there. I wonder if you can get up that. That's what I'm interested in. Obviously not today, it's about 4 p.m. There's maybe only like two hours of daylight left. And it's raining. Oh, oh no, black cloud. I was actually thinking of going to another one of those hanging grave type places that's not too far from here, but if it's gonna be uh if it's gonna be raining, maybe I'll just head back to my homestay guys. Hmm. Oh uh, no, it's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so dinner is at seven o'clock? Huh? Seven. seven, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, I had hoped to do a wee bit more exploring today, guys, but you can't control the weather, can you? And you can't go exploring when the heavens open up, especially riding a bike. It's not safe, it's not fun. Anyway, I'm back here in my hotel and I'm getting my dinner, which is included in the price. So for this homestay, I'm paying 855,000 Indonesian rupees per night, but that does include breakfast in the morning and your dinner at night, which is convenient. It means I don't have to go out in the pitch dark on that motorbike. Look, there's no street lights and stuff around. Exploring for food. It's not like I can use grab like I can in the cities, like in Makassar, Surabaya, Jakarta, and just get food brought to my hotel. No, so this is nice and convenient, looks nice. About half a chicken there, rice, vegetables, and a wee surprise pudding in there. I say surprise because I can't see what it is. So, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this, and there will be further adventures and explorations in Tanataraja for sure. So, see you on the next one. <laughs>